Saturday of April Conference of 84 has been circled on our calendar for many years. For that date was targeted as the first time in my life that our only son would be old enough to attend general priesthood meeting with me. Last night that long-awaited goal became a reality. Brothers and sisters, little did we know that on that day my name would be presented as a member of the Quorum of the Twelve. As we didn't know, our children didn't know either. Our married daughters telephoned us between sessions. One, who was expecting a baby, said, Daddy, I was so shocked by that announcement, I think I'm going into labor. <laughs> that she did. So, President Hinckley, your announcement from the First Presidency should get credit for at least an assist. <laughs> Our 22nd grandchild arrived safely last evening. A wide array of feelings has flashed through my mind since I heard the call that will change my life. The first feeling is that of personal inadequacy. That feeling is intensified as I think of the incomparable power of Elders Legrand Richards and Mark E. Peterson, whose absence we keenly sense. They were to me dear friends, as well as esteemed leaders. Then, as I look about and see the strength of those more qualified and able than I, I truly am humbled by this calling. Fortunately, these feelings are blanketed by feelings of faith, for I know the words of Nephi are true. I will go and do the things which the Lord hath commanded, for I know that the Lord giveth no commandments unto the children of men, save he shall prepare a way for them, that they may accomplish the thing which he commandeth them. I have implicit faith in the Lord and in his prophets. I have learned not to put question marks, but to use exclamation points when calls are issued through inspired channels of priesthood government. The testimony that I bear is but an echo of the resounding testimonies of the 84 who previously have received this call to the Twelve since the spring of 1820. I know that God the Father and the Son appeared to usher in this last great dispensation of eternal truth. I testify that we are of the House of Israel, specifically of the lineage of Joseph, bearing the birthright and charged with the irrevocable responsibility to prepare the world for the second coming of the Savior. Then numberless multitudes among every nation, kindred, tongue, and people will eventually join in proclaiming that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. So I solemnly testify in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.